So, we did this calculation and uh, we find that if you go to standby mode, the uh, power consumption is um, just uh, only uh, 0.66 watts. Fantastic. So, after this let us now uh, look at, so what did we start with? We started with the problem of how to measure the bearings condition right and uh, when we said we are looking at the bearings condition we said let us measure the temperature of the bearing and we start we looked at okay temperature is a good indicator and we did not we could not measure temperature directly because that would be very difficult to do in a non invasive manner so we started to look at how to use the magnetic field and look at change in magnetic field and and sort of you know correlate the change in magnetic field to the rise in temperature uh, of the bearing and we said that is the mapping that you have to establish and uh, then we put together a simple uh, demo i mean graphic which actually showed the lab scale system which uh, would actually be do the, be uh, you know which would actually do this measurement now if you just take this case of temperature right this temperature measurement is not at all trivial non trivial okay and you have to see this is just one sensor as an example okay so we are just looking at in this uh, course if you just start with uh, temperature as an in, in, as an important uh, sensor this measurement it's never never going to be uh, it never going to be trivial and this measurement of temperature it also depends on the scenario under which you are trying to uh, the kind of application that you are trying to build the scenario under which you are actually making this measurement if you take the case of neonatal monitoring if you take the case of baby monitoring particularly in newborn babies you want to measure them for some reason um, then the measurement uh, the way by which you actually make such a measurement is one type if you do bearing condition monitoring it is another type if you want to just look at detection of heat is another type okay so all these things it directly and indirectly are just looking at this one important measurement of temperature which essentially is you are actually looking at the ir temperature infrared temperature okay you are looking at ir temperature thermal sensors essentially will be able to do a lot of these things for you so if you look at this uh, measurement of uh, temperature uh, using IR methods, infrared uh, temperature uh, sensors, using temperature sensors, you will come across a number of them for different applications. If you take uh, an automobile and you want to measure the temperature of uh, within an automobile, uh, you have different types of temperature sensors uh, for that um, application as compared to um, let us say uh, sorry I have to connect this and uh, to show another wheel <laughs> so that it is stable right. So, we need to show another wheel um, and essentially uh, essentially we are looking at um, a measurement of uh, tempera temperature inside a automobile. Like, so, why do you want to measure the temperature inside an automobile just because let us say uh, everything is linked to fuel efficiency right. So, you are let us say having an AC bus and you are looking at how good is this AC inside inside this uh, how good is this AC working inside this bus which are the regions inside the bus or an automobile where AC is not working well where is it that it is not cooling properly. So, you are looking for let us say a measurement of uh, a spatial measurement of uh, temperature inside the inside the system inside the uh, inside the closed automobile here. So, uh, you would put one type of temperature sensor there and you would actually not worry so much about its accuracy plus minus even 0.51 degrees ok. But if you now say that I am going to use I have to I require accurate temperature monitoring of uh, of a baby uh, monitoring uh, system a neonatal monitoring system the right proper way by which you do contact based measurement of a neonatal monitoring baby temperature is the rectal measurement everything is with respect to the measurement with 
the uh, with the, the, the rectal measurement. So, I will say rectal uh, rectal probe is actually used in most of the hospitals for exact measurement of core body temperature of the human being. But that is never going to be easy for you when you are outside a hospital you just want to measure um, the temperature. So, the, if this, this is never going to be easy. There are other ways by which you can actually measure uh, uh, measure core body temperature. Now, you want to let us say build an IOT system to measure this uh, uh, core body temp as close to the core body temperature as possible, but you want to use a non uh, you want to use a non invasive method. Non invasive is also attractive for another reason particularly if you are looking at uh, you know uh, body temperatures or anything around the patient and monitoring and so on because you do not want to contact infections right. So, uh, if there is a rise in body temperature due to some infection which is contagious you do not want people to uh, be a, be a, people who are around you to start uh, you know having the you know you do not want people to contact that uh, particular infection. So, from a non in from, from a, a non invasive uh, method is also useful because you do not want to, uh, to it, you want to avoid infections. So, what do you do? If you want to measure such a temperature now uh, for core body temperature of a human uh, of a let us say a neonate or a human you would now go in for measurement of one, uh, uh, one technique which is uh, called uh, you know you see this uh, system here I, I let me point you to this uh, system here. Uh, you have this nice little uh, sensor here that sensor that you see closer inside here uh, this is a battery pack we did this in the lab. So, I have just put a ba lab scale uh, battery pack and uh, what you see inside is essentially a medical grade uh, it is basically a medical grade IR thermometer, thermometer, medical grade thermometer. Okay. What does it mean? It simply means that if you are uh, it simply means that the accuracy is a very important parameter and that accuracy is 0.1 degrees Celsius. You have to maintain for any medical uh, medical you have to maintain accuracy measurement accuracy as close to as 0.1 degree Celsius. This may not be so how do you measure this how do you ensure that how do you make a core body core body temperature measurement right. Oh, let, let me write it properly core body temperature measurement as I said it is not going to be trivial. How do you do that? I will show you a demonstration of how it is actually done. One simple way and perhaps one way by which uh, one technique by which uh, you do is you hold this, uh, uh, temp this uh, thermometer against your forehead side of your forehead essentially the temple region temple region you see the distance there is a cone here uh, just at this uh, distance of the cone you press this button here that you see you press this button here and you should be able to make a measurement. And where will this value come? This value that is being read off will actually come on your phone on a simple mobile phone okay, a phone like this let us say um, a phone like this should be able to you should be able to make a measurement and display this value on on this on this uh, mobile phone. Uh, what is the kind of communication that you are talking of between this uh, device and the phone? Well, most often what people talk about is Bluetooth low energy low energy it is also called BLE. Um, BLE different standards exist we mentioned this last time um, BLE is the kind of communication link communication communication link uh, is essentially a Bluetooth low energy link. Now, how did I make this measurement? I made this measurement by reading the temperature by the heat 
I would say emanated by the temporal artery. Temporal artery. See, there is something going in parallel all the time. We are spending uh, enormous time trying to understand. You want to make a measurement. So, the idea really is when you talk about the design for uh, internet of things, you have to keep in mind the application. This is very, very, very important. So, I am going to say application. Application is very critical, most critical I would say. Why? If you look at what we did with respect to the bearing uh, temperature uh, condition monitoring of ball bearings, we measured temperature there. It was not a direct measurement because we found it very difficult uh, to make it non-invasive because bearings are very deeply embedded inside automobiles, any rotating machinery or any component there. So, it is very difficult to measure there. So, we started measuring in an indirect way. Look at what we are doing here with, with this as well. We are measuring the core body temperature which would actually be done with a, a um, an invasive method by using the um, um, as, a, as I mentioned we are using the um, core body temperature measurement using um, uh, thermistors which uh, sorry uh, with the uh, um, essentially core body temperature measurement with uh, what we said as the rectal probe sorry. So, the rectal probe right we, we said about the rectal probe measurement using uh, uh, measurement uh, using the rectal probe. So, now we are saying well rectal probe is difficult because we cannot insert the rectal probe so easily uh, particularly in homes because all that would be possible only in hospitals. We said we will make a measurement by putting this uh, driving the system on a um, uh, on using this uh, little piece of uh, electronic product which essentially communicates to a mobile phone uh, like this uh, to a mobile phone and we could essentially use Bluetooth low energy between the phone and this device and this is actually measuring the temporal artery measuring the temporal artery. So, you see now same temperature of interest same parameter of interest, but different scenarios you need to have your IOT device, IOT system that you are going to build look completely different. The sensor is different, the way you measure is different, the way you package the product is going to look different. You for instance, this was done with uh, 3D printed, uh, this is a 3D printed module. You see this cone, this cone is because you have to be as close to the temporal artery as possible. Obviously, if you are uh, going to apply this to neonatal neonatals particularly uh, one day two day old uh, born babies this has to be made out of very soft material you cannot be disturbing anything you can the skin is so 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 tender you do not want to disturb anything there. So, really uh, this this whole packaging will be uh, will, will have to be very very neonatal friendly right. So, that is another thing. Now, let us say you still want to measure you want to use this temperature measurement for um, neonatals, but you do not want to measure the core body temperature, but you want to measure the uh, let us say the incubator all right. So, the incubator it is still for babies, but you are measuring the incubator temperature. You could move on to something like this right, you could do something like this. Um, what is this? Let us just go a little deeper into it. You will see that it is the same sensor that you saw here in this uh, system right, but there are two here. You can see that there are two here and it is the same communication that you want to do with a phone back to a phone, but these two there are two instead of one sensor connected to this little uh, device electronic device. I will write down the name of this device. It is a very interesting uh, a piece of electronic that you can buy quite freely and this is called um, this is called uh, from a company called blend micro blend micro uh, essentially they, they have blended. So, sorry let me write this 
CRO properly. Micro, blend micro. Essentially, they have blended all of Arduino. Arduino, Arduo, Arduino. Right? So, it is Ardu, A R D U, Arduino. How do you write that? Arduino. Arduino code will directly work on this blend micro system. Uh, this one that I show here. Right, let us focus back. This is from, from Blend Micro. What it actually has is a SOC, like what we discussed last time. This is from Nordic Semiconductor. It has a BLE Bluetooth low energy communication link, and it also, since it is an ARM microcontroller, um, it is able to read uh, from no, I do not think it is ARM. I am sorry, I do not think it is ARM. Uh, we will have to look this up um, uh, carefully to come back to you on that, but never mind. This is a SOC which has a microcontroller and it has a radio which is from uh, which is a essentially a Bluetooth low energy radio system. It is able to read from this as well as from this system because this is now actually placed in an incubator and the baby is placed on top of this, right? So, this is like a bassinet which is uh, placed below and uh, somehow you package everything and then you place the baby on top. You want to measure either you can measure the baby's uh, temp the incubator come baby temperature either from two locations uh, in a manner that it is able to gather the uh, complete um, uh, temperature of the closed uh, neonatal uh, neon uh, the incubator. It is possible that you can measure that quite accurately. And you can see that we made this PCB to mount these two and therefore, uh, let me draw this picture for you because everything is about how you build um, uh, for the design for IoT course, how do you build these kind of systems. So, let me again abstract this picture for you, there is a microcontroller, right? there is a microcontroller and there is a I2, there is a a, a, a medical grade sorry not I 2 I have to write here medical grade medical grade I R thermometer thermo sorry let me write this again thermometer this is one and for simplicity I will show the second one here this is two this is the same one again right medical grade thermometer. By the way, if you are interested in building such a system, you could look up Malaxis. Malaxis is a European company. They make these IR medical grade IR thermometers uh, for neonatal applications. Now, let us come back. If you want to make a measurement of let us say of the you want to do a thermal profiling, thermal profiling, thermal, thermal right. So, let me rub this out, thermal profiling thermal profiling um, of an automobile. Of, of an automobile, what kind of sensor will you use? Sensor to use. Before we answer this question, I will show you some gimmickry okay, on this issue of temperature measurement. What I am going to do is, I am going to show you a nice idea which I tried in the lab many years ago. And just for fun, you know, you can do many nice things. It is not all about technology every time. It is about your idea, what kind of ideas that you can generate together and put a very simple system in place. Actually, if you want to make a measurement of human body temperature, you could do it as I said, the right way is rectal, otherwise temporal artery, use this uh, little uh, IR thermometer scan across the uh, temporal region and then you somehow catch the temporal regions because that will have the highest temperature. 
you read that value and then you say okay this is very close to the core body temperature. Do you have to do all of that to just get a first line indication of temperature? No, you do not have to do that. What you could do is you could get a liquid crystal thermometer, it is called liquid crystal thermometer in the market in any pharmacist shop for 40, 50 rupees or maybe 100 rupees you would get a thermo, thermo this uh, uh, simple uh, uh, which you can simply bite off and put it on your forehead. Now, when you put it on your forehead if depending on the body temperature it is going to indicate a color right that particular color is going to light up in this strip. You can see that what I have done is I have there is a particular indication of the bo core body temperature here uh, in the middle one. Uh, let me show you uh, in a little more detail here. So, you can see one of them here um, will actually yeah ok. So, I must point it correctly one of them here will uh, indicate will uh, light up and um, then there is a corresponding uh, mapping here to a different color here to different colors here. What I will do is I will map those colors to this keyboard old Nokia phone beautiful phone um, you map it to this write a simple application here and somebody presses a button here will simply depending on the color that they have identified there a person can simply press the but corresponding button here and all of that information can go uh, out uh, can get communicated. So, you can see that you know, supposing in rural areas or uh, you have uh, primary health care centers or you have people who do not know uh, are able to identify colors very well, but you know to find it difficult to send out a message they are trying to monitor a baby or they are trying to monitor a patient and they are just trying to use very simple systems it is very low cost right. You can buy this for anywhere from 40 to 100 rupees depending on the quality just put it up here identify which one of them have actually got highlighted corresponding color that you find down below you send it out you go on to this phone and press that button the application here will simply send out a in a, in a SMS or something to the nearest primary health care uh, health center. So, you can see that you can you do not have to need you do not need heavy technology here. You can do many things in a I would say semi um, autonomous way or semi automatic way with human intervention being the most critical thing. This phone you can buy a simple phone um, a Nokia phone you can buy Nokia is coming back with its 3310 now um, which is available um, and um, you could buy a simple phone like this because you just want to send out only a, a SMS message uh, with that color indication that color you map it to a particular temperature right. Um, and then you can just say you know you can just make that simple mapping. So, let us put down all what we need to do. Um, uh, so, let me put it here so that uh, the critical questions which we uh, have to answer now can go on. What you can do is you map you use a, um, a simple IR thermometer again uh, sorry I am sorry I use the wrong word this is not IR thermometer this is uh, what I am sorry um, I must say this is a liquid crystal thermometer I am sorry this is a, a liquid crystal thermometer it is called liquid crystal thermometer this is actually called a liquid crystal thermometer which is available for anywhere from rupees 40 upwards to about 100 rupees and use this simple liquid crystal thermometer on your forehead use this simple liquid crystal thermometer on your forehead read this particular mapping that you have here based on the color that it maps to one of them in the liquid crystal thermometer will highlight in that uh, region corresponding color you take use this keyboard which is now mapped to that particular temperature and color and press that button corresponding button 
so that the temperature value which is mapped to that particular color is communicated over an SMS to the nearest uh, primary health care center. So, all of this simply indicates that you can do all this uh, story with simple liquid crystal thermometers which are available also called LCTs or liquid crystal thermometers are also called LCT, LCTs. If you wish you can buy this liquid uh, crystal thermometer from this little uh, company uh, which is called Thermospot. You can see this Thermospot. Uh, this is also called teaching aids uh, at low cost talc. You can see teaching aids, teaching aids at low cost and I have a sample here in my hand. You can see that this is that little um, same liquid crystal thermometer that you can use. Normally for neonatals a uh, newborn babies what they do is they put this little dot and you should see a smiley at the end if the if the temperature is right at 36.5 which is the normal body temperature you would see a smiley all right. So, that smiley is a clear indication that the temperature has maintained the thermoregulation of the baby is well maintained. You normally put it below the arm okay, or below uh, on the right side just below the rib. Both these places are okay to measure and uh, that, that is already. So, if you are monitoring let us say a neonate and you simply have a simple phone like this uh, you could use a combination of this liquid crystal thermometer uh, with that of um, uh, a phone and a simple SMS. So, what is the big story of this design for IoT uh, kind of uh, uh, systems building that you are looking at? Idea is important, how to make things simple is important. You do not need sophistication of measurement techniques or te temperatures or, or sensors for all applications. You could do it in a hybrid way, you could use manual methods, you could use combination methods and build your systems together right. So, in this example we saw that we actually used uh, liquid crystal thermometer for all uh, proper mapping of measurement of the core body temperature uh, sorry the uh, new, uh, temperature of the neonate uh, by simply applying it either on the below the arm or just below the rib on the right side or if you are using uh, for uh, adults you could simply uh, apply it on the forehead as well right. All these are possibilities to measure uh, with simple phone. So, you com combine uh, several technologies right. So, <clears throat> this is one example of how you can make a measurement. The second thing we said is about medical grade uh, thermometers or medical grade IR thermometers. And the third example we said is how do you make a profile of the autom of an automobile you are looking at AC inside an automobile. Well, for that what you could do is you could use another type of uh, sensor we, this is also um, so okay, let me point it right it is about this long it looks like an electrolytic capacitor essentially. This is also a, 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 a a medical is, is it is also a IR thermometer, but it is not medical grade right because you do not want medical grade you do not want to invest you do not want this 0 0.1 degree Celsius kind of accuracy, but you want to monitor a large area um, and uh, different regions. So, what you could buy is you could buy for an automobile a 16 cross 4 a 16 cross 4. Um, pixel IR thermometer. You can call it thermometer right because it measures temperature right. So, so what does it mean and what kind so why do you need so many pixels you need 16 cross 4 pixels because you want to measure a large area like this, but <coughs> you do not want too much in terms of height you only want in terms of larger uh, you, you larger wide you want it wide but you don't want it uh, on the on the uh, y axis you don't want it very high but on the x axis 
you want it to be measuring a <coughs> sufficiently um, a large uh, area. So, large angle. So, you would get them in 30 degrees cross 120 degrees for measurement. This is something that you can typically use for all measurement of in, uh, in automobiles. <coughs> Let us take this up as a next step and uh, understand this, uh, uh, this measurement of uh, temperature in a lot more uh, detail uh, as we go along. So, um, in summary okay, in summary if you are measuring the ambient temperature you need one type of sensor. If you are measuring core body temperature of a neonate you need another type of sensor. If you are measuring the temperature of within an automobile you need a different kind of a sensor and a different IOT system. If you are measuring the temperature inside the poultry farm let us say you are looking at uh, measuring a particular temperature of um, chicken which are all in inside a poultry farm you know there the issues are even more quite complicated there. If it is too cold the chicken are huddling uh, to themselves together. If it is too hot they are sort of sweating and uh, they are uh, uh, they, they are unable to breathe properly they can also uh, you know have lot of issues if temperature is high. So, uh, ultimately you want production to be large right you want to have a good production of your poultry system. Um, uh, 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 so, your measurement of temperature inside that uh, poultry farm has to be accurate. So, you need a different kind of uh, uh, temperature measurement there. So, all this in summary says that your IOT system that you want to build depends largely on one important aspect and that is with respect to application right. This is the most important thing keep this in mind in in any IOT uh, in any IOT application we will move on we will build systems we will understand them and uh, let us see how these things actually uh, can be built for uh, several of these applications. Thank you very much.